This shows how dangerous the Japanese draw cut can be. Very efficient. Okay, a while back I was asked if I'd do some videos on some of the select pieces out of my collection. Um, finding time, I'm going to try to do so. I'm going to start out with a piece that's very dear to me because of the man that made it. The late, great Phil Hartsfield. Um, Phil was known for his modern adaptation of Japanese blades. Phil didn't do traditional construction, but Phil made, in my opinion, the best cutting swords and possibly best cutting blades of all time. Um, he had a way of putting a hamon or a temper line on A2, which is still something that is not replicated today by many makers, if any. Um, I have a long pass with Phil. Um, when I was about 20 years old, I flew out to California and I went to pay homage at the great Phil Hartsfield shop. I had seen the catalogs with the you know, Eagle, Manuki, Katanas, and you know, dreamt them, but I could never afford them. So I, I showed up at Phil's shop and met him and his gracious, lovely wife, Pat, and 20 year old kid, you know, not enough money in his pocket to buy anything, um, even though Phil didn't sell anything at the shop. Um, one of the, the neat things that Phil had at his shop, and I've got a lot of Phil pieces today and I'm gonna go into a lot of different videos on them. Um, that day I did leave that shop with a Quaken and Phil took what a kid had in his pocket basically, well, I guess the 20 was not a kid, but, and sent me on my way and made a, a very lasting friendship and a very good customer for the rest of um, his life. And I, I miss talking to him today. He was a very wonderful man. But Phil used to always tell a story of a Tonto that a contractor in El Salvador was wearing on his back when he got shot at. Apparently the bullet struck the Tonto instead of his back, deflected the bullet, but it broke the blade. The contractor returned home, took it to Phil, and said, can you shorten it now and make a knife out of it? Phil said, no, let me just keep the broken one. I want to keep it as, a, as basically a, a souvenir, and I'll make you a new one, which he did. Um, Phil kept that broken blade in his shop, I believe, the day he died, and would show it to anybody that asked to see it. It was kind of cool. And he didn't make many like that, but he did make, I believe, one at least El Salvador Tonto replica. This is a Phil Hartsfield El Salvador Tonto. As far as I know, it's the only one out there. Um, it is a fantastic blade, 12 and 3 quarter inch A2 with a nice temper line. I don't know if the camera makes it out. I will show some pictures. Just a gorgeous blade, excellent balance, very, very, very sharp. Um, again, Phil didn't build classically constructed blades, but Phil did try to keep authentic in what he named and called the blades. What most people consider a Tonto is a Quaken in my mind, a short, small utility knife. A Tonto is a, has a guard and is slightly larger than what most people consider what Lynn Thompson popularized as the Tonto. This is more Tonto size in my mind. Um, again, I've soaked some targets. If it stops raining, we'll do some cutting with this piece. It comes with one. It comes with one of Phil's ostrich leather over top of aluminum, I believe they are with a lining on the inside so you don't mar the blade. Um, Phil really knew how to temper and heat treat A2. He, his blades kept an edge and keep an edge like practically no other. Um, a modern adaptation that in my mind is just incredibly well done. Just super piece. Phil also put a lot of respect into his steel it was just a fantastic friend, maker, and a real credit to this industry. Ernie Emerson, who I believe this shirt's from, um, took a lot from Phil. A lot of the great popular tactical makers really took a lot from Phil Hartsfield. I've got a lot of Phil's pieces. Um, as I grew older, I could afford to buy more. I have a few Katana, Wakazashi, many Quaken, even Chef's Knives. I'll be doing videos on all those. But for the first one, I wanted to do the late great Phil Hartsfield, El Salvador Tonto. That is just a fantastic piece. I have a katana 
that has a brown handle that really matches well with it. It was one of the last katanas that Phil Soli built. Um, it's a fantastic blade built to my dimensions and it's gonna get its own video. This makes a very nice dice show with that. It doesn't have to be a Wakazashi and a katana. The, the, the proper battle size tantos were carried with katana to make a dice show up. So again, fantastic stuff. We miss Phil Hartsfield. Thanks for looking, appreciate it. Okay, this is a double roll mat, um, more of a sword target, not, not a Tonto target, but we're gonna see what kind of power a well-made Tonto has. Phil Hartsfield, El Salvador Tonto. Killer, thanks for looking.